I'ma keep spitting to the earth flat Board a flight to Detroit City, y'all And bring that soul back Digging in the breach I'm, I'm down with you Alright, hey everybody, Matt here from Around Square. I'm uh, going to do a uh, quick rundown on the products you can expect to see in our uh, July 2022 product launch. A uh, bit of a different one for us this month. We're, um, we're going deep into the uh, back catalog here, uh, finally listing a few of the items that we have had in the past and that when I migrated from uh, Squarespace to uh, Shopify uh, several years ago, there was a bunch of stuff that we had kind of uh, some like remnants of inventory or like not a full line and we hadn't restocked yet. And I didn't get those things uh, into the uh, into the new shop. I never did. And they've just been kind of sitting around. Uh, we still have a good, uh, a good amount of most of them. And uh, I thought it's kind of high time to, to clean things up and uh, get them into the shop. So I'll run through it real quick. Uh, it should be a fun one because these are things that like if you're new to the community within like the last five years or so, you uh, probably haven't, uh, you know, you've seen them around, but you haven't had the chance to scoop them up unless you've got them in like a luck sack or through a secondary market or something. Uh, but yeah, I'll just I'll run through them quickly. I don't think it'll take that long. Uh, they're all, they're all classics actually. Um, so let's start with these guys because I've got the most of them to give. So these are the original hybrids. So... Many of you know the, the hybrids were a, a mashup of the design for the Titans, uh, which can have always had this kind of gumdrop shape, uh, and the uh, hy Hydras, right? And so the hybrids, uh, kind of the, the aim there was to take the, the best features of both. And these are, uh, have been, you know, uh, kind of a classic and, and a favorite of a lot of players over the years. Uh, they were designed for 275 uh, paracord. And so they've got the three millimeter bore. Uh, as you know, we've been putting them occasionally into the uh, into the shop with the uh, the wider bore, the four mil four millimeter bore. And so we're just like hand drilling those and finishing them stuff. But it's it's a little uh, a little time consuming, and uh, we don't often get around to restocking those. So I thought, you know, for for what it's worth, the the pendulum is kind of swinging back, and I'm seeing a lot of a lot of players uh, back to enjoying two seventy five or the the two millimeter Kevlar cord. And so I thought, why not uh, put these guys back into the uh, shop uh, as they are? We'll, we'll be discounting them a little bit. It's kind of a uh, spring cleaning type sale, I guess, if you could, could call it that in July. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna do it like the full range of colorways. I think we have, we're kind of limited supply in some of these colors, but but we've got enough to put them all into the shop. And uh, you know, just a great, great set, nice middle weight, uh, not too heavy. Uh, they've got the, the uh, two beads per end, uh, which kind of softens the impact. And like, you know, nice and small, but still with good lay, good weight and good control. Uh, you know, I, I love this design and uh, we, we plan to keep carrying hybrids in the future, but uh, for now is what we got and they'll be up in the shop. Uh, sticking with these guys for a minute. Uh, we also, in addition to the titanium I just showed, We've also got uh, aluminum and copper mashup. These uh, these are also one of the favorites. Uh, and actually, I've got my own set over here, which are pretty thrashed, uh, the spheres. So there's kind of a story with these guys. Uh, uh, one of the factories that was working with us uh, back in the day produced things uh, the wrong shape. They produced first the, uh, the copper... Uh, the uh, the copper domes uh, they're supposed to be the copper bottoms so they had, they had things mixed up and so we had them re redo the uh, production and they got it right the second time and so that's what these are but in the meantime uh, we we liked the the shape of these guys we had them do a matching aluminum dome and you you can see they're they're not quite the same shape uh, so the uh, we have like actually a nice sphere shape on on these guys. So, you know, mixing and matching, you're, you're going to get stuff looking a little bit different from these. But just the weight distribution and the, the you know, the two beads per end again on these, it's always been uh, a fun and refreshing set to pick up and play again. And I, I love this on uh, 275. I've, I actually drilled out and did a set on 550, which I ended up not liking nearly as much. There's just something about the thinner cord on this uh, set that I've always really loved. Anyways, uh, that's those guys. 
and uh, going to move away from the hybrids for a sec, but we're going to come back to it. Uh, we've got also some of these guys. These are the original uh, Titanium Sport Everyman set. And we don't have all of the colors, but we've got uh, Natty, the business class. And here, this is a, like back to the old production days again. Uh, there were some issues with the uh, the Shinobi anodizing. So we ended up with this kind of a matte gray color. And then some of the beads also had this uh, shiny, it's got like a, a multicolor sheen to it, almost like the sunset, uh, but blackened. So we called this uh, oil slick. So this uh, goes back to like, back to the early production issues that we had uh, years ago. And all of these beads have the uh, around square word mark on the bottom. That was uh, one of our first ventures into the laser etching of, of the beads. So a little piece of history there as well. Um, so these guys are gonna be available also at a nice discount. I've got my own uh, set here, which, you know, I love coming back to this set as well. There's something about the Everyman design, which is just super reliable and nice. And I gotta say, like, I love the solid clack of these older beads. They're heavier than what I usually play these days. Um, this set here, I've just uh, stonewashed. So it's like, it's just tumbled and, and uh, cleared off cleared off the anodizing and stuff. But it's, um, you know, I love that that solid uh, feedback from, from the solid, like the bigger, heavier beads. Okay. Uh, that's those guys. Then we've got a couple of other classics. Um, for a long, long time, one of the best-selling sets in our shop was the Sloppy Fade uh, Everyman AL Sports. Uh, and that's because we, we ended up with a ton of them because the factory kept screwing up the, the fade on them and they kept selling them to us for cheap. And I was like, okay, like... Fine. So we were able to sell them always like for, for a very cheap, reliable price. Uh, and we finally sold through those. Uh, and so we, we had a little gap in the catalog there. But we do, in the meantime, also have a bunch of the uh, the hardcore version. Okay. And I don't know, like, I don't think these ever made it into the store. But they're they're the same, the same uh, sloppy fades, uh, but it's the hardcore version. Uh, we've matched them with a stainless steel uh, micro standard. So these are a great uh, entry level set, like super versatile again, because you can doctor the weight if you want them. You can go from like slim them empty uh, for a super, super light set or anything from like the aluminum uh, newt inserts all the way up to, uh, you know, like something like the copper uh, Herx can bump the weight up super, uh, super high on these guys. Okay, so these guys are going in the store as well. Um, I should say probably, probably all of these are gonna be like, limited ish time um they're not things that we plan to restock as is so when they're gone they're going to be uh you know gone like the wind as they say right okay uh what else we got oh yeah okay the last of the uh the these are not the original production of the aluminum sport uh, Titans, but these were, I think were they were maybe the second or third production batch. It was the first time that we went up to the Goldilocks bore. So these have a 3.5 millimeter bore, so you can get 550 paracord into there without too much of a headache. Uh, but they also work just fine on the 275 paracord. And yeah, I mean, there's just something beautiful about the Titans. That's a uh, kind of where around square made its mark and kind of the, the Barry, the glary community kind of got its start. It was with, uh, these were the beads that kind of, uh, kind of, I don't know. I think it, it, they they are significant in the uh, history of the Big Larry community and definitely in the history of my company. So, uh, and again, just like you can hear the clack, it's just so nice and solid, right? Uh, these beads are are fantastic, and even like some of the some of the uh, the sponsored players on the AO2 crew keep coming back to these as well. They're just you know they're a, a favorite, and it's just like coming home when you pick them up, right? So that's it for uh, the kind of old school stuff from the archives. Uh, and then into the new stuff, a while back we launched the hybrid modular system. So these are slightly sized down. It's a, a 15 millimeter diameter compared to the 16 millimeter diameter on the, uh, the kind of traditional original hybrids. And shapes are slightly tweaked as well. And uh, we had this available in the the black aluminum, uh, black anodized aluminum, or natty titanium, uh, and we sold them only as the slatacular pack, where you could you basically got the whole range of the whole range of beads, and you could uh, you know mix and match and make your own builds and whatever, right? So we did that uh, for for a while. 
I thought I'd do something fun this this month because we got just the Glary coming out and I haven't involved the AO2 crew in much stuff recently and, and uh, wanted to give them a chance to get involved and uh, and you can show your support to your favorite players and whatnot. Um, I invited each of them to do their own build. And so here's what they've cooked up. Uh, I'll see if I can do it just off memory here. Uh, well, actually, I, th I think I better I better not like try to spell out. Realizing now, like they all have these weirdo uh, like Instagram handles that are just like spellings that aren't even phonetic, right? So, anyways, so um, in my, in my newsletter that's coming out, I'll I'll detail all the weights and and uh, who's responsible for each of the designs. But uh, we got these guys here. These are this is a funky funky set. It's got the uh, the uh, micro boss inside. And then the inverted uh, hybrid bottom, and then uh, one of the washers on the on either end. So these are like little kind of a bullet shape, right? Pretty neat. Um, got these guys here. These uh, are almost uh, reminiscent of of the the old Red Table Apollos, I believe. Um, the Red Table was a, a Biglary maker back in the in the day, and and had this kind of angular shape. Anyways, this is a, a super fun set, and it's got the the partial recess in the bottom. Okay. Uh, next up, here's a funky set as well. This is a, uh, I had never thought about using the sets this way, but this, it almost looks like an everyman type shape, uh, straight off the bat, but the, the top is like this, right? And so that actually, you don't really feel that during play, but, but the, the kind of straight edge just changes the, the ledge feeling and it gives like a nice little aspect of control while you're playing. Okay. And then we do have like an, an everyman style build here. And this is just, just a beautiful set. I don't know if they can't get it into focus. Lame front-facing camera. Hey? Anyways, it's a gorgeous little set and nice, nice weight because it's like all the heavy metals in the in the uh, middle managers. There. Okay, and then what else we got? Okay, here's a funky one. This is uh, this looks like freakish, and I when I like uh, um, this is from Doors over in Japan, and when he first sent this set into our chat group, I was like, what, uh, whatever. I'm like, nobody's gonna want to play this, but but. <laughs> You know, trust the like. Uh, I think he was the 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 world champ last year, right? And uh, he knows he knows his stuff. I I put it together, and it's actually super super fun. It doesn't look like it looks really severe, uh, like like uh, like it wouldn't be comfortable to play. But when you be, because the beads are all separate, they have nice movement, and the angles are not actually that sharp. And so it's just like very different to play. It's not like anything else in our in our lineup. So this is a very unique one, uh, but definitely tons of fun and, you know, very distinctive look as well, right? Okay, so there's that one. Then we got these guys, kind of a Titan style build, but it's uh, mixed up between the colors. Very, very attractive set. Um, then the classic, can't go wrong, uh, this is just a beautiful little set. Uh, I think everybody who's got a set of the Slaytacular has probably has strung up a set like this just because it's so nice. Uh, then over here to something reminiscent of the greys, right? Uh, if you know the greys, but the, the angles are a little different. The shape is a little different. It has a very unique feel because the beads are separate. And it's one that I've played a lot. Got a, another one. This one is is uh, very much like a slightly miniaturized version of the the original hybrids, right? Very slightly miniaturized, but uh, in order to keep the weight at a good a good level. It's got one brass micro hydra inside. Okay, so that's a very nice set. And last but not least, look at this. That's a beautiful one. And it's um, it also kind of I, whenever I pick this up, it kind of reminds me of a trilobite or some some kind of a centipede type thing. But it's it's pretty dope, and it's got the partial recess in the bottom there for the knot as well. Okay, so all of these guys are player approved, and uh, they're they're all super nice. I've played them all myself as well, and I've got a bunch of bunch of them and we've uh, weighed them all they're all kind of spot on for a nice playable weight uh, I'll definitely in the newsletter I'll include the details for for the weights uh, of each of the sets so that you know kind of what what you're getting into in advance and we're we're going to um, price these guys all pretty nicely uh, just to kind of encourage people to pick them up because I I I think the, the hybrid modulars don't get enough love there it's it's such a fun uh, set and system it's just to like mix and match uh, parts and so what I'm kind of hoping is that uh, people who who are interested in these might pick up a couple of sets and then you can kind of get into the mix and match fun as well but these are all excellent builds 
And uh, I should mention too that we're giving a portion of the sales to each of the players that designed them. So that's just a, a little way to kind of incentivize and encourage the team to 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 get involved and uh, reach out to new players and, and so on, right? Oh, and not forgot about this one. This one I just kind of threw in at the last minute. This is this is just something that I did just because because I because you kind of have to. Uh, but it's just a a big fat stack of uh, of the middle managers. Uh, we don't have aluminum hydras in the shop right now, so this is the closest that we've got. And we we've never done uh, fifteen millimeter hydras, and it's you know very very fun little set. Anyways, uh, yeah. So I think that's going to be it, guys. Uh, should be yeah, should be a fun one. Uh, and these things are all probably going to be limited time in the shop. So so uh, you know get them if you're interested. Hopefully this month works for you. And next month, I expect we'll have some kind of other new stuff uh, for you as well. But so much stuff in the, in the works. It's just production takes time, right? All right. Thanks. Bye.